I'm so tired of Mike McCarthy in this situation, y'all. Like, I, I hate the fact that I got to come on this show as the resident Dallas Cowboy guy and answer questions about who's more important or, or who is more of a liability or more in question. It's Mike McCarthy. OK, I know Dak Prescott can play at a high level. Dak Prescott has played at a high level. He has more of a sample size of playing at a high level than Mike McCarthy has in the re couple of recent years of coaching. So, yes, the liability will be Mike McCarthy. We talking about clock management, y'all. Clock management is paramount in the playoffs. Clock management is paramount when you're playing against other quarterbacks who knows how to manage the clock them damn selves, even though Tom Brady tried to call timeout after fourth down. But that's just a blip in the radar. We look at Aaron Rodgers last year with Matt LaFleur on a fourth down situation and not going for it. That's bad management. When you got Aaron Rodgers, you go for it. You're trying to win the NFC Championship. Mike McCarthy to me, okay, and, and, and early in the year we had clock management issues, and I said, you know what, everybody settle down, still working kinks out. The Giants game and that clock management situation was inexcusable. That is peewee football level thinking. Like, I know my, my peewee coach, Coach Shu, Maylene Brooks, the South Baton Rouge Rams, would have took a timeout in that situation to get one <laughs> shot at the end zone. My high school coach, Eric Randall, would have took a timeout to get one more shot at the end zone. Mike McCarthy is out of his mind for trying to go up there in a damn press conference and sell to us the yellow, yellow zone and ozone. <laughs> I'm watching Yellowstone. It's a great show. But you know what? It's not real. It's not true. Mike McCarthy, this is real life. We're trying to win football games. We're trying to win playoff games. Stop doing the things that you're doing with the clock situation and allow your team to be set up. And then, Dan, I'm going to pass the mic, but you know I'm emotional about this. You got a struggling offense that has not put up a lot of points in recent weeks, and you say we want to settle for the three. Bruh, bruh, listen, y'all, I've been, last year I had to be stressed because injuries, and nobody wanted to acknowledge that the injuries was why my team looked so bad. And now we finally are playing well. Look, I know it's been negative connotations around the Cowboys. They 10 and 4. They number one in their division, and they going to the playoffs. That's a great season. The bottom line is this, man. Mike McCarthy, don't do it. I'm praying I'm praying you don't do it. Don't cost the team a football game because you make a bad decision or a scary decision or you start thinking about the damn yellow zone or the ozone. Bro, they, Dan, they literally have private space travel now. Mike McCarthy better figure out how to call a damn timeout and try to score a touchdown. It ain't that hard. Go ahead, go, go, go. Go ahead, bro. He said private go, space go travel. Ahead, he want to get his Michael Strahan on. Hold on, Molly. I got to share a story oh, on Yellowstone yeah. with Marcus real quick. Yeah, Put Molly please. on with us, sorry, because I want Molly. I want Molly. I want to see her I'm face. I'm still when, stuck when I, on the private space travel. Right. Yeah. So Molly. Yeah. So. He's, he mentions he's watching Yellowstone, right? So I'll be yeah. in the green room here upstairs a couple times. This is like, I'm going to put you on blast here. but uh -huh. So he, I walk in and he's watching Yellowstone. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? He's like, I'm watching Yellowstone. I'm like, yo, how do you have the time to watch a television show? Like, all I do is watch Football season. Yeah, no, goes, I get you know? it. And yeah. he goes, he goes, Dan, you got to date yourself. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, yo, I'll get to the hotel after work. No. I'll order myself a filet. No. I get the candles going. I watch yellow. So that he goes, I just... date myself. I like that. I, I like that. You know said, what? I... That, that is you know, very cute. That is a very, they love they that's a very cute line, Marcus. My... And I'll tell you this. I've been doing a lot more self-care lately. I'm with you. The candles, take the bath, no, get the candles. roll. A lot of people, it's winter time. A, a lot of but people, I, I guess you know what? I am dating myself, public, so I'm gonna start using that when people ask. I'm yeah. just dating. I'm just dating myself, and I'm cool with public, it. A lot of people in public, they like to come on and they talk about self care. And yes, yeah. I take care of myself. No, I truly do. I pamper myself. He does. He I does. have a beautiful wife, I love Aisha it. Spears. Okay, <laughs> yes. I'm away from her uh, during the week. I'm going to date myself, okay? I'm go I, I light a it. candle. They in knows. I order me a steak, and I watch Monday Night Football. And it's the greatest time As I have should. outside of being away from my family. As it's you should. Yeah. And Merry Christmas, Aisha, and the whole Spears family. So, so my answer, <laughs> I had to get that story. It's the best. So my that's, answer. That's hilarious. That's so good. you you got to be more concerned with Dak Prescott. I get it, Mark. Marcus, <sighs> you're saying, like, clock management matter, matters a lot in the playoffs. 
so does having your quarterback play good football. And I would say that the latter is more indicative of you winning a football game. I honestly don't think that if Dak Prescott plays really good football, that the Cowboys are going to lose a playoff game because Mike McCarthy doesn't pop a timeout at the right time. Now, if Dak Prescott is struggling and this offense is struggling, yeah, then we're having, because there's multiple variables adding to a poor performance. Um, I'm, I'm concerned with Dak Prescott in regards to two things because everyone is saying, well, he's played poorly since the calf injury. If it hasn't gotten better since, since the calf injury or since the two months, I don't think it's going to get better great in the point. next three weeks. It's a great so, point. like, I think he's going to have to prove to everybody that he can play good football post-calf injury if that's why they're saying he's struggling. I think he's struggled for a multitude of reasons. One, I'm concerned with him without him or with him in regards to the, the his performance without Tyron Smith. In his last two games without Tyron Smith, that left tackle, one touchdown, four picks. He's taken eight sacks. So they got to make sure that Tyron Smith is healthy for their playoff what, playoff run. And also, I think he's dealing with a little bit of the Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen syndrome, where defenses are playing. They're two mm. high safeties. And Dak has remained ultra aggressive with the football, two touchdowns to four interceptions, and he's playing against those two high safeties. So, like, I think there's got to be a bigger concern with him. For them to win a playoff game, he's going to have to look like Dak Prescott the first six weeks of the season. And in the last yeah. seven weeks, we just haven't seen that. Uh, yeah, Dio, listen, man, I, there is no argument from me about what we've seen from Dak. I think I just I, like I told you when we were talking earlier about San Fran offense and Dallas offense, I, I, I believe that it. they will get it going. My issue is Mike McCarthy, man, because when we when we start like, dude, we talked the whole offseason about Matt LaFleur not going for it on fourth down in the NFC championship. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.